Okay, we're here at the 2017 Cleveland Asian Festival, and we're at the, the table of the Cleveland Go Club. And we're lucky here today to have the president of the Cleveland Go Club here who's going to tell us a little about it. Tell, first of all, tell us about the Cleveland Go Club. Uh, Cleveland Go Club has existed for at least 30 years, but we really got strong in 2003. So we're an official club of the U.S. Go Association, and we can have what are called rated tournaments, and you can get an official rating as to how strong you are. Okay, now the big question is for people who don't know about Go. Go, tell us about Go. It's an ancient game, and give us the basics. Sure. Uh, Go is about 4,000 years old, invented in China. 4,000. 4,000, 3,000, it's hard to tell. The records weren't very good back then. But the object of the game, the, the original meaning is the surrounding game. And you're trying to surround open territory. And it's a race, so it's like a land race. So who can get the most territory? But as you're racing, you're also going to fight. So it's also a fighting game. So it's a game of strategy and tactics. You can, some people consider it a war game. But it's much richer and deeper than that. It's very easy to learn to get started, much easier than chess but much harder to actually master. So basically, it, it seems you have a, a grid, a, a grid layout, and is it a standard size grid or number of squares, or does it vary? Yeah, so we actually work by the lines, and the smallest board we have, as you're looking at, is a nine by nine. This is great for beginners. This is what we'll teach on. Five to seven minute game, and then we have a 13 by 13, and then the big board, 19 by 19 is a tournament full-size board, and that's a 40-minute, 60-minute game. And all the, there's only one piece. There's not like a chess you have pieces with different capabilities and all. Each piece, or whatever you call it, has the same capability of any other piece. Yeah, so we call these stones, and we black goes first, and once the stone's placed on what we call a point, any intersection is a point, even the corner or the edge, if it's illegal for them to play there, they can, they're allowed to play there, and it stays there unless it gets totally surrounded and captured. If you get totally surrounded, you can be captured, and that counts double. And when you're captured, do you remove the piece from the board? In a bowl lid, a special, you know, like, prisoner box. And at the end of the game, we'll use those when we count up the score, because the prisoners will count against the opponents. I'll fill in their territory. So a winner will not necessarily eliminate the entire board, but they will have the most captured stones? They'll just have the most open points. So you can win. Black usually gives white at least half a point because black goes first. So we generally don't have ties under the American rules. So everyone's going to win by at least half a point. But sometimes it's, it's 20 points, 30 points. Sometimes everything dies on the board and then somebody goes negative count so white for instance might own the whole board and then they have all these black stones that are dead that happens to beginners a few times now I would think with people at a certain level like your level who's played for a long time playing with other people at your level that the start of the games are pretty similar you know you have your techniques and strategies which which intersections you like and all does it does it vary as much as say a game of chess does uh, yeah, people do have some favorite openings, but the game gets very complex just within six or seven moves. Because there's so many possibilities, even on the small board. So if someone, do you have to have, uh, you know, be a chess player, or a, a mathematician or something to learn Go and get into it? Uh, those kind of people definitely uh, appreciate the game, and we have quite a few in our club. We have uh, artists, musicians. You know, liberal arts grads, all kinds of people. We like to start people at five years old, if at all possible. It's like learning a language then for them. They just naturally absorb it. But this is great brain training because in chess, you're generally just using your left brain, trying to read moves ahead. That's not enough in Go. You have to use right brain. You have to have pattern recognition and intuition and creativity. So it's really superb brain training for any age. And we'll like lessons in this game. Well, if it's been going on for thousands of years, there must be some 
really entertaining and useful and life lessons like you say. So the Cleveland Go Club, clevelandgo.org, and you meet every, well, tell me when you meet. Yeah, we meet every Wednesday from about 6 p.m. to 10 or 11 at night inside Laplace Shopping Mall, which is at kind of the corner of Beachwood Place, Cedar and Richmond. It's all free, just have to show up. We're inside the mall behind Mitchell's Ice Cream. Free and visitors are welcome, beginners are welcome, and you'll show and play. And one of the nice things about this game is we can handicap it so someone who's a strong player can have an even game with a weaker player, you know, up to a point, and it doesn't distort the game. Where if you're playing chess, you need to remove one of those key pieces, it's not really the same game anymore. All right, so the Cleveland Go Club at clevelandgo.org, and we're here at the 2017 Cleveland Asian Festival today. Thanks.